What's up, everybody? So this is a little different here. Uh, I have a weird guitar. Um, what's up, Belle? How you doing, babe? This is Belle Bell. She's my sweetheart. Um, I got this for Christmas. Thump, thump. And it's a uh, cigar box guitar that actually my cousin built. I didn't know. Uh, he had built it and auctioned it off at a reunion, and my, my grandma had bought it and given it to me for Christmas. I have a great family. So it's actually really well built. <clears throat> cigar, cigar box, I mean, it sounds really simple, but, uh, you know, it's a cigar box, like a legit cigar box. And uh, he's got a brass rod he's carved in for the bridge. It's a floating bridge, so I can actually get it intonated, a hinge. That's where the strings go in there. Um, it's got a volume. It's got a mic that attaches to the body, so it's a little noisy when it's plugged in. Um, it's pretty cool, man. Look, the the work he did on the neck is really good. It's got a, a separate fretboard, uh, little brass pins for the fret for the markers on the side. It's got a machine screw for the nut. Keeps the strings in place. Some old uh, exposed machine heads for the tuners. It works just fine. And uh, Eddie Wright. So I was playing with this, and it's just tuned to an open. Uh, it's an open power chord, basically. Like if you drop did a drop D on a guitar, and. Uh, I started playing around with it, and it's real easy to do because you pretty much use the dots with an exception here and there. So uh, check this out. You pretty much stick around the dots and you can you can play some cool stuff as my mic falls apart but uh let's see another thing you can do is kind of like this It's kind of droney stuff like that, <clears throat> which is, it's fun to do. So anywhere. So I was thinking, man, it'd be nice to have one like this. That was actually nice and had a nice rounded neck and everything. Cause this, you play slide on it really easy. It's kind of made for that. So I took one of my kind of extra acoustic guitars, <clears throat> which is my, I mean, it's Talman, Talman back here and God, it's dirty. Very dirty. Hangs up all the time. So I have this tuned. Uh, basically, if you take your guitar and you turn tune the E. So here's a regular tuning. So I dropped it down. So what that does is it takes and you have your, your E is now a D. And it matches the D here. Well, what I did is I took, and I'm sure this is already a tuning, a tuning people have. It's a fucking microphone. I didn't invent this. I just realized it. So I did the same tuning for these, for the top three strings, just an octave higher. So it sounds like this. These two are the same. So the same stuff that was cool on that one, I can do on this twice. Uh, so let me, I'll, I'll show you some stuff that I kind of came up with while I was screwing out with this like two minutes ago.
simple droney kind of stuff. And you can you can play around. God damn it. You can play around with a. Uh, just fun to mess around with you know um and i was like well if i can do it on this string i can do it on the other string so i was doing uh something like this yeah right in your place That's my little video on uh, just playing around with with something new to you and applying that to something you know. And uh, if I had a slide, I would probably be really noisy and not that sound like great. But um, it's fun, man. If you're, if you're starting out on the guitar and you're having trouble playing chords or whatever, um, I advise you to learn how to play the chords. Get your fingers to do what they need to do to play the chords. It'll benefit you later, but uh, if you can do an open tuning, which this is D A D D A D, uh, sounds redundant, but you can do some pretty cool things with it. So that's my little uh, half-ass demonstration of things you can do with things you may have already. Thank you and good night.